Hello, this is Lex from Techies Review. In this video, I will be teaching you how to create the stacking card animation in GreenShift. If you'd like to, you can purchase the code and see a example on a live page. You can find those links in the description below. Now let's get to it. We will start with creating the first container and I call this one the timeline container because it needs to be a gigantic size. So here we go. We go and look for the container. And in the height, I set a custom height of 4000 pixels. And there we go. Inside the container, we will be creating four containers for this example. So here we go. This is one. And let's add some text so we can see that the container is there. Duplicate, duplicate, and duplicate again. To make it a little bit nicer, I put a height on the inner container of this kind of pixels. So there we go, 600, and this one too, and this one also, and this one also 600. So now we have four containers that are all 600 pixels high. Next step will be adding the background colors so we have a more visual way of knowing which container is which one. Spacing around, I like to do M's. Let's all those two um, maybe bigger. So here we have the containers nicely created. For each container you want to have some kind of spacing to the top. Uh, the first one is of course just without any spacing so you will see them at the start of the page the second one needs to have a little bit spacing um, I do about the half of spacing of the size of the container above it um, this will give some scrolling possibilities so there we go Next up is in the advanced tab, we will be adding some, in, some animation. So advanced, you will press this use GSEP animation library, library, then set the delay on 15 milliseconds and, and duration. I want this to be fast. It doesn't need to be very slow, but you can leave it at 700 if you want it slower. For scale you put in 0.7, then translate Y minus 6. So this one depends on how many cards it will go backwards. Perhaps a scale or shifting in the Z direction could also be possible but I like to do this one and then for trigger start I added minus 450 so that's <coughs> that it will start at approximately the half point of the container before changing things then you put the direction to and scroll inter interpolate animation by scroll into one set a trigger and transform or origin on the top side else it will be scaling down from the middle but because you want this differently you need to do it on the top then you set the sticky I put the position on 20 viewer height so that it will be uh, approximately center of your screen when it animates. So next up is the second one. For the second one, you will have the advanced tab as well. 
new GSAP animation library, then scale to 0 0.8, so it will go up 0.1 per next container. Minus 4, 50. You want the trigger, trigger end to be the height of each element at least. If we have four elements, you want four times the height for the first one, three times the height for the second one, etc. etc. Uh, let's finish this one up. That one, so that one, and then two. So here we can see that animation is starting to work. We set position, fewer height, 20, and put it in sticky, sticky. And here you can see that the animation is already starting to work. Then we only have one left. I guess I put a lot of spacing in this one. Around M, it's a little bit too much. So we set around the pixels again and just add the position of 20 viewer height and sticky. So there we have it. Stacking cards example. We can preview this in a new tab. There we go. Sticking cards in under 10 minutes.